Hi, I'm Keith Simonton, Managing Editor of IMDb. I recently had the opportunity to chat with Aaron Paul, star of Need for Speed, and the director of the film, Scott Waugh. We filmed the interviews in front of a live audience on the Amazon campus in their fishbowl venue. We hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Scott Waugh and Aaron Paul. I'm assuming we're going over here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey. Wow. That was, that was what a what a fun room this is. Wow. wow. I know. How you guys doing? Now, do you pay them to get this excited? These are all Amazon employees who are just excited to hear about Need for Speed. Wow. That's crazy. That's fantastic. I love you guys. Man. Uh, thanks for coming. They said there was only like three people here. I, I walked in. I, I started hearing all these voices from the other side of the room. I'm like, are we doing this in front of... People. Uh, people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, wow, this is uh, what, a, what a great yeah. welcome, so thank you. So welcome to Amazon Fishbowl. Um, so Need for Speed, by the way, um, opens March 14th. So this is very much a sneak preview. Um, and as such, a lot of the folks here may not be as familiar with uh, the film, the setup, what it's about. So, Aaron, if you could kind of describe what your character is and, 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 the, and what's going on in Need for Speed? Uh, well, I, I play uh, Toby Marshall. Um, you know, he's just a, a good guy, a blue collared guy, um, a guy that just is in love with cars. Uh, he lives and breathes cars, lives and breathes racing. Um, and this story is just really a story of uh, revenge and redemption. He, he gets sent to prison for something he did not do. So the moment he, he gets out of out of out of jail, he he's on he's on a mission uh, uh, for revenge. But um, you know, when I first started talking uh, with Scott about this project, he he wanted to do something different, which which was very exciting to me. I mean, when I when I read the script, I was really surprised about the story, and it was very story driven and character driven. But uh, when I talked to Scotty about his vision of the of Scott, the, go by Scott. Sorry, what? <laughs> My when mother, I, my mother I, reprimands me with Scotty. So. When I, when I, <laughs> when I talked to Mr. Waugh about uh, better. Better. about yeah. this, uh, about this, <laughs> this, this project, he said he wanted to do a, a throwback to the uh, the classic car um, culture films, such as you know from the '60s and '70s, like such as like Bullet and Vanishing Point and you know Blues Brothers, just you know just yeah. Smokey and the Bandit, Smokey and the Bandit, and. Um, you know, I was such a huge fan of, um, of Steve McQueen. I mean, he's just such a, such a badass. And so when he was saying this, I was like, this is fantastic. I, I, I loved it. And, and his whole thing, he wanted to do all the stunts practical with uh, no CG, which is rare. Uh, Aaron, one of the things that uh, you're, you're from Boise, Idaho, yes. correct? And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Boise. Boise shout out. Got some Boise fans over there. Yeah. Um, um, and somewhere around the eighth grade, you uh, said that kind of that's you decided, hey, I'm I love theater. This is what I this is what I want to do. Yeah. Kind of into that inspiration. Um, was there a moment? Was there something you watched? Something where you went, oh, the light went on. I mean, I think we, you know, growing up, we all were a fan of uh, of films, fan of make believe. Um, I don't know, I think, uh, Goonies, when I watched Goonies, you know? <laughs> or, Stand, or Stand By Me. I was watching those films and I was like, wow, um, it's not just- You know, I used to double Sean Astin. Did you? Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> I love him so I used to wear braces yeah. to pretend like I was him. It was awesome. Uh, In Goonies? Yeah. That's awesome. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little- <laughs> I'm a little starstruck yeah. right now. Hey, now. Uh, but no, no, but, uh, you know, um, when I watched those films, it, it was obviously just such incredible storytelling that they're, they're, they were giving us, but I realized, wow, these are just kids, you know, doing what they love, and I realized, why, why, why can't I do that? And, uh, and I, I made the decision in eighth grade, very young, that I wanted to do this, um, 
uh, as a living. And so I was just trying to get to Los Angeles as, as, as early as I could. But coming from Idaho, you know, all my, my family lived there. I couldn't really leave when, you know, I was, uh, you know, 13. So I, I had to, I left when I, wait, I, you I can, left. but you don't Come get on, you far. can do it. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I, yeah, I left when I was 17. I graduated high school a year early, uh, just because I, you know, I, I had that drive and just, uh, you know, move out to LA. That focus. Yeah. So uh, I think it's also an interesting story um, on the casting. Scott, can you guys talk about that? Yeah, I was uh, the alien that lived on Earth and hadn't watched Breaking Bad ever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's a true story and sad as it is. They, uh, we had a kid that we were looking at for uh, his character that he played, Toby Marshall, and they wanted to see, he was an up and coming unknown guy and they wanted to surround him with who's the villain gonna be. And uh, Dominic Cooper, who was the villain in the movie, was one of them, and they brought up uh, Aaron Paul's name, and I was kinda like, um, who's Aaron Paul? <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, the looks that I got were like crazy. And so, uh, uh, they, can they show me some tape on him? And I saw, uh, I saw a lot of footage from Breaking Bad and some other stuff yeah. that Aaron had done. And I was truly like blown away. And I was like, this kid's fantastic. And but I could see why we would consider him for the bad guy. But I think the more interesting choice for our film is the lead. And uh, the casting people were like, no, there's no way the studio's gonna go for that. It's too risky. And I was like, really? I think it's more interesting. You know, Aaron brings a lot of edge. Because yeah, I was really personally looking for the next Steve McQueen. You know, and I was lucky enough to be around Steve as a kid, and I knew that kind of essence that he had as a racer, and I thought Aaron had that quality. So they shot me down, I lost my dream, and um, <laughs> then there's this guy, uh, this guy, he's got a beard, and he's made like one or two movies. It's this Spiel, Spielberg? Spielberg. Spielberg. Yeah. Spielberg. 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 Look saw. him up on IMDb, yeah. He's made more than a He's made a couple, yeah, couple yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> Produces so, a lot. he's, yeah, he's got a small boat in the water. <laughs> uh, so he, he wanted to see who we were going to surround this new kid with, right? And <laughs> it's funny. You know, I got to gather myself on that one, too. So uh, he saw the footage of Barry, making a long story short, and uh, he saw it, and he was like, yeah, this kid's fantastic, but why don't we consider him for the lead? And uh, Yeah, why? Yeah. So, so for some crazy reason, they listened to him and not me. Yeah. And 24 hours later, the offer went out to Aaron. Man, I was so excited. When you sign up for a movie called Needs, Need for Speed, do your like personal insurance premiums go up? You know, <laughs> they should. They should. You'd be like, hey, aren't you in the, the, the movie yeah, with no, the no. speed? The funny part is, uh, uh, before this, I did a movie, you know, Act of Valor with yeah. the SEALs, and I used a lot of live ammunition and fire in that one, so my insurance company was super jacked that was just doing cars, <laughs> so it wasn't like that. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it was a bit more practical. Jump. Yeah. Do you have a movie quote that you personally love? And the ones that we really like are the ones where um, they're ones you love that nobody else gets. <sighs> wow. This is, this is our time, down here. This is our time. It's their time, up there. Come on. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? I don't even know who you are, so. <laughs> Where am I? Who are you? Uh, <laughs> why do we keep hanging out? I don't understand. So, um, guys, thank you so much thank for you. Uh, attending the uh, Fishbowl. It's been a pleasure to welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, everybody? Need for Speed opens nationwide on March 14th. You can get local movie showtimes and buy tickets right here on IMDb. Now, here's a clip from Need for Speed. I spent two years thinking about one moment. He set me up. In our world, you always go back. You just
just left him there. That's what I can't forgive. That's my boy. Yo, T, I'm really happy you're home. Boys, we miss you, brother. It's time to celebrate. Call up some females. Do you know any pretty ones? You like them? Yo, mama? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Toby? This could put him away for life. It's time we make him pay. But first, we're gonna need a fast car. Y'all ready? We're doing this. Racing is an art. Revenge will surely come. But racing with passion, that's high art. And I think that's Toby Marshall driving the chariot of the gods. I'm willing to give six million dollars to anyone who puts a stop to him. We'll settle this behind the wheel. APB out for your arrest in 10 states. Maybe we should rethink the plan. I'm never gonna stop. Hook up! You are out of your mind. <laughs> I love it.